Libra, how are you? If you're new, how welcome and Miss Michelle. And this is one of my many series. I'm gonna move this to the higher up. So, anyways, this is one of my many series. I'm going to give you um, a special reading. Um, it's gonna be the per what is like what is the person in your mind want to tell you, and I'm gonna give you that message. Of course, this is um, I'm gonna use this oracle right here. So again, if you know you don't have anybody, it might not be for you. You're welcome to stay in either way. But again, this is the messages from your person to see what they want to say with that said please keep in mind that my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody so please keep in mind that rose can be raised between you and your person that applies and these are all general so of course not everybody's gonna have the same outcome let me get some other cards and i'll be right back with your reading i'm right back i bought this uh deck right here if you guys remember the the beginning of my channel i made tons and tons of you know cards for messages so we're gonna jump with this and then i'm gonna continue with that one okay so please and thank you for libra what is the person's um, message for libra please and thank you so we got i don't want you to find out i don't want you to find me not the right not right now i know you want me to i can't stop dreaming about you uh it the universe is telling you you're not a game don't let them play you i never stop thinking of you sorry to say this but if you need to remind them how to treat you right it means that they're not the one and last one i'm not giving up on us so at the bottom right here we got average and i want you to notice me so i feel like there is a very complicated situation with this person as i feel like you know that you could deserve better but at the same time it seems to be that you want to give it a chance because you know that they're just this is just way maybe what you think they're actually just running because of fear but once again we're going to find out what kind of messages they have besides this ones here but they definitely think of you still we got growth um this person is actually trying to get out of a situation uh they they know they need to work on their growth and i feel like they're on the process to do so also number five might mean something for some of you now we got number seven um i see that your person is dealing with their karmic this could be car this is called karmic ties um they have been uh in this situation for a long time and they feel powerless they feel like they have been giving their power away to other people um they're also learning to set their boundaries as well, Libra. On um, number eight, you guys are actually acting as mirrors right here. You both are projecting fears and is actually reacting as limitations. They want you to... Um, they want you to start um, understanding how you feel because in the same way, you'll be understanding them again this reading is not for any battlefield like i said before i'm giving you the message from the universe and if you don't want to accept it just don't like i said before i'm getting too old for to arguing with people in the comments even though that is fun but it's just like you know you don't have to take it this is a general reading now timing and intentions over this also number one um they are actually telling you that you need to wait for divine timing i know a lot of people don't want to and they feel that they have been waiting forever but it's not for you to say that um they're telling you that time is a healer it is meant to happen like that so you can both heal your wounds and it's creating the perfect conditions but so you guys can have the reunion you guys so want um uh, this definitely telepathic message is coming through um it seems to be that when they close their eyes this could be you as well uh, before sleeping or during the day daydreaming they close your eyes or they close their eyes and they they dream about you um they actually are starting to understand a little bit more about the situation so uh so they can be in the uh 5d with you also uh number 11 might be my oh my goodness means something for some of you now we go back to number seven uh the mission the mission is um there seems to be that they're watching you this could be social media wise and they said that they are very proud of the the change that you are creating here they want you to continue accomplish what you have and one day they will like to be there with you so you guys can accomplish the full mission mission together more about this mission as well also number eight um uh they're actually explaining why you found this person let's say that you have been wondering why 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 so this is you guys incarnated uh together again to clear specific patterns specific karmic ties that you guys had in the past and this also could be from uh cleaning uh specific patterns pattern um 
patterns from um, from your uh, ancestors' bloodline as well. This could be two different stories for some of you. Now, it seems to be the communication um, telepathic too. Number four, they're saying that if you think they're not listening to you telepathically, or if you guys happen to have any communication, if you feel like they're not listening, they are listening. Um, they said that if you guys had a last conversation, they actually are replaying that or rereading that because they're actually starting to understand what was their their role in the connection and the separation as well. Uh, again, we're going back to telepathic messages here. It seems to be that whenever they allow to think about you and they allow your energies in, it's like their heart opens up a little bit better and it lets your energy sit in and they allow themselves to have the awakening and the understanding of what you guys are. Again, a lot of telepathic messages. Uh, they're telling you that sometimes, I, I don't know if this happens to some of you, but some of you might be like, you know, working or doing your own thing and you are having like a full ass conversation in your mind, in your head, and you go like, oh my goodness, I'm crazy. No, they're telling you that sometimes they feel you so close and this could happen to you too, that it's like they feel like they're speaking to you in their head and this could be you and them as well. Um, they actually, that's, that sensation, this could be a mutual sensation, triggers them because they question like how much more you can see about me you know how much more and that scares the hell out of them we going back to mirrors here number 10 um they actually uh somebody here is actually resisting 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 I should say like that resisting yeah somebody is resisting and the universe is trying to help you guys to clear that resistance because it's created by ego um Yeah, and this is because of your person's patterns. They're afraid of the of the relationship because they say that it's too good to be true and, and they pull away because of fear. Also, they have confidence issues. Number two, they at times they, they think that they don't deserve you, they don't deserve your love, and they actually worry a lot about you leaving them and then whenever you see who they really are so like i said before they have a very bad perspective of themselves and they have abandonment issues this person could have grown without a father without a mother with their grandparents so they have abandonment issues in their energies very deeply and this is also about like their inner child and whatnot but going back to this it's telling me that they fear so much of people leaving their life especially you libra that that's why they pull away from you that's why they decided to stop talking to you because they're like i have not now but what happens when libra leaves me what happens when they don't come back so this is the kind of like um coping mechanism that some people do when they have this abandonment issues that they go like oh i'm gonna leave them before they leave me you know so this is uh exactly understanding why they do what they do number 10 growth um as i said right now your person is going through physical and emotional assumption symptoms um they need space to rest and understand because they're feeling very tired and trained because they need to have the higher self or the higher perspective and a bigger understanding of what's happening so they're able to release the old energy now we got number three and union it seems to be that that's uh divine union uh, follows both of you and it's actually very essential for this uh reunion they the thing is that you both will have to allow this magic to work its magic so the reunion can happen but there's definitely resistance and how do you know you're allowing it when you have nothing to say when you uh you know like sometimes libras and this is coming from a libra as well sometimes we have to have the last word and the thing is that you can't say, oh, I did it, but no, 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 no. If they're still giving you a message like, hey, allow it, be like, more be, accept it, and that's it. If you keep putting words and like why you did it, then don't complain anymore. You are making your own decisions. Like I said before, I make videos all the time and people give me big ass paragraphs of why they're done or why this person is horrendous. Like, move on. If you don't want it, move on. If you want them, accept what's been telling you or what I'm telling you and just accept it and that's it. If not, there's nothing we can do because you make your own decisions. Now, karmic ties. 
um, they're actually accessing uh, accessing their past life wisdom. So they're utilizing their failures or what ha whatever happens in the past instead of like being a punishment. They're utilizing that as wisdom, as as lear uh, learning from them lessons, um, so they can actually understand and have a better and bigger perspective of a situation. They're actually. Uh, confirmation that yes we are one you guys are definitely connected and they want you to not to do not let fear or ego get in the way to believe in this truth we got the union again okay so right now number nine they're telling me that the union is right now what you can feel is the energetic energetical or energetic union is not physical just yet um, they're telling you that you can feel this person so close so close and that's why you go like oh my god something is happening it's because the union that you're feeling is the energy one not the physical one and that is because you guys are becoming one and they are telling you to trust they're telling you to not judge they said they're telling you don't judge just surrender and they know that they know it feels triggering you know it could be triggering to say this but you need to start listening to your higher self so you can have a better perspective of things and actually that will bring you close to this individual okay i guess not and they're telling me timing um they're telling me the next solstice 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 or equinox will bring an important shift let's see so i'm gonna write it down because i know i pronounce it wrong and i don't know how to pronounce it solstice or whatever so the next solstice or equinox is going to bring a shift into this energy because it has everything to do with your past life connection with this individual this situation this uh solstice or equinox is going to happen is going to is going to bring it's going to help you bring the memories from a past life it could be consciously or subconsciously and it's going to help you both understand that's when you guys are going to connect physically because this shift is very important so somebody has the awakening and surface those memories so they understand what's happening and at the bottom right here they're telling you right here that your person is going to start uh, focusing on their mission so the connection can happen sooner so this is all the things that has been happening in their life and that they would like to tell you and that they're not telling you of course i know that it sounds as simple as coughing but it's not for them so like i said before remember the first part the card says do not judge just surrender because again i know that we are libras but the universe is advising you to not judge them to surrender again your outcome depends on how much you trust the universe now i'm gonna move to give you this person's potential initials this could be the first last or middle name it could be a nickname keep in mind that not all the initials are going to belong to your person so we got r as in ryan f as in frank w as in walter a as in apple k as in kfc s as in sam thank you spirit v as in victor t as in tyler h as in hamburger p as in patrick Y as in yes, J as in Jason, B as in boy, and then as in Michelle, and at the bottom C as in cat. I know I give a lot of initials, but keep in mind that I talk to multiple Libras, and everybody deserves a chance to maybe find their initials. So that's why I make sure that everybody has variety, as it's not just for one person or the couple, it's for thousands. So that's why I do it, because some people don't seem to understand that. So with that said, I'm going to move on to, what is this? uh sorry i want to make sure <coughs> the emotions of this uh reading today let's see what kind of emotions are popping in here so we got critical distant um hesitant and at the bottom self-esteem so self-esteem understand your inner beauty that radiates outward you are precious in so many ways when you feel good about yourself it shows then critical that critical voice in your head is not your true self it experiences it's it's experiences of the past that haven't been released you have control over today hesitant you're being driven by fear you are not allowing yourself to move forward find out the reason why fear of fear of change fear of rejection experience everything learn and build the best version of yourself and last one says distance you have been insulating yourself to protect your energy your positive energy is needed to help others step out of the hermit mode soon now we're gonna move 
to the time frame oracle okay these are all estimates so i'm going to give you an estimated time of when this could all happen so we got okay so at the bottom we have you have conflicted thoughts it will not happen unless you feel completely certain then we got within the next three weeks then the momentum is rolling stay positive it's on the way if you have been wondering about this daily you are in, in its vibration time frame is within a few weeks and then last one says what does your intuition feel the time frame is that is the answer so now we can finally move to the unicorn oracle let's see what messages they have for you libra so let's see so we got the bottom innocence right here and it says uh take time to play nurture your inner child live with a childlike sense of wonder we got support ask for help get more rest nurture yourself the same twice nurture nurture yourself prosperity a gift of money is on its way your income is increasing manage your finances with love then we got dance make your body to music i'm sorry move your body to music dance with the rhythm of life manifest your dreams through dance and last one says beloved or beloved prepare prepare for your life partner oh romance is returning to your relationship believe you are lovable they're coming whoop, whoop. anyways uh before i go i'm gonna give you a message from your angels um oh i forgot to give you some zodiac signs though i'll give it to you in a minute let's see what messages your angels have at the bottom if you believe in the near future, unlikely, communicate, communicate clearly, compromise, and choose a new direction. Now, I want to give you some initials. I'm sorry, not initials, but uh, sweat signs. I totally forgot. Boy, hey, better late than never. Let's see. We got uh, Taurus, Virgo. We got Pisces, Scorpio. We have Cancer. We got Aries. We have Leo. We got Capricorn, we got another Libra and a Gemini, and a Gemini and a, and a Libra, and last one, Leo. So those are the possible initials that we are getting here. Hold on, guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel, as every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. Um, I did record the video, most likely it's already up, so if you want to know how to participate and what else, besides subscribing, you want to go to over there to double check what's good and what is offered and how to mature participate. Anyways, with that said, um, if you already show you most likely or I'm doing it right now I'm showing you my social medias if you want to follow me on Instagram I always follow back if you like to your readings I have a TikTok which I'm always active over there um, I also have a small group on Facebook that I'm trying to grow so if you want to do so to help me out I'll really appreciate it with that said I'm back with personal readings once a month so any questions or if you're interested in a personal reading make sure to go to the link as it will take you directly to my website and it'll answer everything you need to know make sure that every time that you request a reading with me or if you're interested make sure to read and uh read my policy that's very important um with that said if you can't find what well, you can find the link uh, for my website it's going to be on the description box below of every video if you can't just go to my instagram and it's going to be on the bio and the button that says book now click on it and it'll take you directly to my website with that said i never message first i never message anybody offering any readings any free readings or asking for money so if that were to happen it's not me make sure to block and report and with that said Thank you so much guys for the love and support that you guys given to my channel in this year for all the blessings that this channel has brought to me i hope i am able to give you the readings that you like thank you for those who care for me may, uh, defend me give me good vibes i appreciate all of you for those who don't like me thank you for the views also it helps me out too but you know i'm petty and funny again this is part of me i'm always sarcastic i'm always making jokes and stuff like that i'm not changing that whoever doesn't like them there's always an option to go and exit again i'm tired of people telling me how to live my life and what to say so for those who appreciate my sense of humor and likes it you guys rule you guys are the best um but yeah, some people be like, oh, I don't know, but I'm bilingual. That's why sometimes I stop. So if you didn't know, uh, obviously, but I'm telling you right now, I'm bilingual. That's why sometimes I stop and I pronounce things weird sometimes. But hey, it is what it is. I speak two languages. 
but anyways thank you so much i really really want to let you know that i appreciate you guys thank you for all you guys do for me and for my son for those who do care for me and do care for my son and you know message me and ask me how i am doing for you know keeping up with me outside tarot because like i said before i know i'm a tarot reader but i'm also a person and i love when you guys can see me as both and thank you so much for the nice friendships and for the blessings um love you guys so much you guys have an amazing day